on average, I have about eight postcards that I send a year. Now with the hyperlocal agent in GeoCentral, sometimes I do go up to nine, but for 2023 and the last two years prior to that, I average about 60,000 cards um, around there on an annual basis in postcards. Now that seems like a lot, and it is. I really think that you don't have to look at these numbers and say, oh my gosh, this is a lot of cards, I wanna do it. I started with 100 flyers. Can I share with you my 2024 geographic farming growth plan? That's right, I got plans to actually grow my transaction count and I would love to share it with you. Hop on in this video right here. I'm gonna lay out the basics of what we're gonna be talking about because when it comes to a new year, we need a plan, right? So let's talk about a plan today of how I structure my geographic farming calendar so I know what is happening and when it's happening. First up, welcome, my name is Janine Sasso. I'm the owner and founder of the Hyper Local Agent. And one of the things that I do is help agents find the geographic farms and then also remain extremely profitable, sending direct mail and getting themselves established as a go-to neighborhood agent. So when I look at my geographic farming calendar for the year, I always have a couple big blocks that I put in first and foremost. First up, events. I started my geographic farm in 2017 and one of the things I started was a neighborhood event. I host a garage sale because one of the things with a garage sale is the fact that when people are decluttering, they oftentimes declutter for a reason, okay? So a garage sale was my very first event where I started to dabble on and, and try to figure it out all out. And when I say figure it all out, I mean figure it all out. There's no resource, no course. Well, now there is because I built one, but there's really nothing there for, you know, agents hosting events inside their communities. So I had to figure out step by step by step, how do we go about it? The Neighborhood Garage is one of my staple events to this day I do inside my community. It's an annual event, it repeats, and typically it is responsible for about six figures in commission due to me connecting with new sellers. That is one of the main ones. Now, after I had this one, I started slowly to add another and another and another. Now I do run about four events a quarter. And when I say events, we're not talking crazy events that take a lot. We're talking really easy to manage events. Um, I do a Easter Bunny event. I do a garage sale event. I participate at the fire station open house and we have added a letter to Santa campaign for December. So those are my core four events at this point that I'm hosting inside my farm. And knowing that these events are on my calendar because you know they correlate to something that is just um, on the calendar, like Easter, my garage sale has a specific date, um, which is the second weekend in June. And then I got the fire station open house that I help in for the month of October which is fire prevention and obviously letters with Santa is a you know holiday event so all of these are already written in the calendar and they don't move now I got to look at okay what is the marketing that I'm doing so if I'm doing any sort of you know invitations that I'm sending in the mail these postcards go on my calendar first and foremost so for the garage sale for example I do invite the entire neighborhood with an EDDM postcard to participate in this event. That is one of the couple things that I put in. Um, we've done an Easter mailer as well before where we invited the entire neighborhood to the Easter event. So event invitations are the mailers that go on my schedule first. After the event invitation, I look at my market updates. Market updates are flushing out the people that are more number driven. They wanna talk real numbers, and they are more ready, okay? They are not like, oh, I woke up and I thought maybe in two, three years I'm gonna sell my house because they know in two, three years, numbers are different. But people that get a number mailer and they take action are oftentimes much further down in the pipeline of really understanding, okay, this is starting to get real. We need to look at some numbers. Where's the value coming in for our home? 
So market update mailers have been a staple and I do try. I saw that I forgot one in Q3 of 2023. Maybe it was 2023, what can I say? But um, one of the things I tried to do is to make sure we get one out each quarter. So there's four more postcards, okay? And then we fill in the gaps based on where our activity is um, much more needed. So I am spring market driven. Again, you and I know there's no such thing as a spring market. It's best to sell when the inventory is low. But the average consumer in my area focuses a lot about selling when school's out, um, when more people are on the move. That is the general consensus. So we want to make sure that I'm more male heavy leading up to that specific one. So that's where I start plugging in my calendar with the remainder of my postcards. On average, I have about eight postcards that I send a year. Now with the hyperlocal agent in GeoCentral, sometimes I do go up to nine, but for 2023 and the last two years prior to that, I average about 60,000 cards um, around there on an annual basis in postcards. Now that seems like a lot and it is. I really think that you don't have to look at these numbers and say, oh my gosh, this is a lot of cards, I wanna do it. I started with 100 flyers. Always remember, the biggest thing is to start. So hopefully you found this little breakdown of my geographic farming plan helpful. There's a ton of resources that we've created over the years from um, Event Summit, a two-day event where we really go over 60 plus neighborhood events that you can pick to find something that aligns with you and your values. We've gotten um, a CRM that sends postcards for you. We've really done so much on the back end to help agents succeed in 2024 and beyond. So again, don't hesitate, connect. I do this for a living um, and I wanna help my agents. So thanks again for watching and see you in the next video.